Now take the printer carefully out of the box. Now take the printer out of the plastic packaging so you can cut out the plastic packaging and also you can see the blue tapes so we just have to remove all the blue tapes carefully so that we can start the printer for the setup process. Connect the power cable one end to the printer and other end to the main power supply. Now take the starter ring cartridges out of the packaging. Also remove the orange tape which is at the bottom of the ink cartridge. Open the front door of the printer, also the ink cartridge chamber door. Now we have to install the ink cartridges here, so just wait for the ink cartridge chamber to come in the middle. Now take your ink cartridges one by one. You have to just slide the ink cartridge in and it will lock itself there once you push it. So just insert both of the ink cartridges. These starter ink cartridges are necessary for the initial setup of this printer. Now we need to uh, load the pages A4 sheet at the input tray which is at the back side of the printer. Also adjust the size according to the sheet and your printer might print a uh, printer alignment page as you can see here. So wait for the printer to print this page once it is printed now open the top scanner bed and place this page there facing downwards on the right hand side corner and then we have to go on the display panel and press the copy button so that the printer can scan it to adjust for the ink cartridges for better print quality so this process might take few minutes so just keep patience and once it is done then we are ready for the printer to set up for the Wi-Fi direct setup. Now we have to activate the Wi-Fi direct of this printer so go on the display panel and you can press the wireless button if you don't see the Wi-Fi direct icon on the printer's display panel. Wi-Fi direct icon can be seen just above the tricolor ink cartridge icon and once it is there that means our Wi-Fi direct is on. Now press the information button so that we can print out a page which is a printer information page. It has the Wi-Fi direct name of the printer. Also it displays the Wi-Fi direct password as you can see here. Now go to your Android device or iPhone and open the Wi-Fi setting and now you have to look for the printer's Wi-Fi direct name there just click on that now enter the Wi-Fi direct password as it was written on the sheet and click on the connect button now open the HP smart app and you can download it from the app store once you open it you will see a plus button on the top of the screen just click on that you will see the name of the printer is available on the top of the screen so just click on that and it will automatically add up the printer so this way we can use this printer for the wireless printing and scanning now I will show you how to do the wireless scanning with this. So click on the scan button on the screen here. Now open the printer's top scanner bed and place a page facing downwards on the right hand side corner of the printer and close the lid. So you can click on the scan button again on the iPhone or the Android phone and you will see a scan option again there. So click on that. Now printer will start to scan. It will once it is scanned it will transfer the file to your device. So once it is done you will see you get the option to add more pages if you want or you can also save this in a particular location and then you can access from there. Now I will show you how to do the wireless printing for that go back and look for the print document uh, icon on the app and click on that. Now select a document you want to print also once you select it you will get option if you want to increase the number of pages if you want black or color and once you set up all the settings then you can give a command by pressing the blue icon and it will start to print wirelessly. Now the printer will take some time because uh, it's not a very fast printer but it is good for the household use and you will see it has started to print so this way we can do the wireless printing and scanning and now I will show you how to do the copy using this printer. 
Now open the top scanner bed and place a page facing downwards you want to print. You can uh, once you close the scanner bed you can select on the display panel if you want a color or a black copy and just click the number of times you want the number of copies. So as you can see this is a very good printer where you can use it for the home or the office use. And the printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi direct system is very good where you don't need home or office Wi-Fi network. Thanks for watching.